Welcome back to the Salami Talk Podcast. It's your boy, John. Today, I'm interviewing my friend, Roberto, a.k.a. up-and-coming visionary director. He's going to blow every Marvel FVX fucking dude out the way. Michael Bay does not compare. And uh, we have a wild episode for you guys today. We talk about geek culture. We talk about movies. We talk about Twilight and Filthy Frank himself. Make sure you guys like, share, subscribe. Make sure you leave a review for this podcast i'd really appreciate it uh and just share this around man uh i love every single one of you uh i think all of you are awesome that tune into the podcast uh, i feel like i have to say that because i don't say it enough you guys are awesome and yeah i hope everybody has a great holiday um have a great christmas merry christmas happy kwanzaa fucking you know hanukkah all this shit and uh yeah have a good one uh i have a hard pee pee to do a little vlogging in high school and people would like come right up to Fil- filmmaking since high school yeah yeah crazy introduce yourself we have roberto here on the salami talk podcast what's up guys it's visionary director roberto torres visionary director sure am let's go bro let's go do you have any uh what's that one thing in your instagram about like twilight twilight time that was my last short film eight minutes long i worked on it over the summer with a pair of friends justin wrote the script i directed shot it team effort all around it's a team effort all around yeah yeah is that the one where you guys recorded i don't know where is it like in the dunes i remember seeing something like that there's like a lot of sand it looked like you got shot no that's the first one that was bonded by hate that's when we did uh that was back in high school like spring break yeah 19 that was over the weekend uh my friends they wanted to do a short film because they do the same thing i do so i had like a week to come up with a little script I'm not gonna lie looking back it was a little rushed i wish i had like a week more to work with it would have been a lot better not that i'm ashamed of the result but i think it could have been a lot better with a little more time and cleaning but i mean i suppose that's filmmaking all around yeah i guess so but it was it was a fun experience super stressing you know being really? there all day i mean we started oh man i must have got hot bro <laughs> yeah i mean that's right here i mean that was over spring break it's florida and we started as early as like seven in the morning shooting there and we stayed there as late as like five. Oh yeah the whole that's a whole work day and i'm wearing leather <laughs> oh yeah you wore a leather jacket <laughs> I wore the costume i was wearing a black leather jacket so that was painful oh yeah man it'd be like that so what, what what inspired you to get into directing stuff? You know, being a visionary director. I didn't know there was like different kinds of directors. I just thought it was just like director. <laughs> visionary director thing's just a joke. Um, no, but directing. I mean, Is it really a joke? Wow. Because people call me that on my Instagram. They call you visionary director? Yeah. I mean, I don't know if you've seen that. It's always like a little joke. I just see director. You'll see it. I'm going to post it in my story and you'll see it. Okay. But uh, no, I got into filmmaking back in seventh grade because I met a pair of kids who were I'm still friends with. They're very talented and they were doing it. So I thought that was fun and I started doing it. Though at that time, it was a little more like a hobby. Yeah. It wasn't until I got into high school and I just got completely immersed in this geek culture. Geek culture. Yeah. Movies, video games, you know, all that stuff. Oh, yeah. I mean, I... I liked I liked Batman as a kid. I liked Star Wars, but then like when I hit high school, that pinky I dipped into that pond just like completely pulled me in. So I mean that's how I got a new. So now like do you like read manga? No. (laughs) Oh, I was gonna say, bro, because like yo, uh, my girl reads manga, and she left her book here, and I started reading it, and it's pretty fucking good, dude. She's not getting that book back. You know, funny enough, of all the things I'm into. Anime and manga have never really been one of them. And I've tried. Not for like a trying, because I've really tried. Maybe, Ooh, okay. I know, I know you, I'm crossing my arms wait, right wait, wait, now. Wait, wait. wait a minute. I like I love Avatar. Okay. I like The Legend of Korra. Okay. I've seen a couple of animes. I, enjoy. I watched the new Cyberpunk one on Netflix. I love that. That's so cool. That right. that anime is so fucking cool. But I don't know. Like, aside <laughs> from that, it's just... <laughs> It's it's a different style. It's just not for me. Yeah. But I mean, there's stuff that is and there's stuff that isn't. So what do you usually watch on like TV and stuff? Action movies. Like Michael Bay Transformers? I love Michael Bay Transformers. Are you serious? But no. <laughs> not, 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 in a, not in a, it's a cinema masterpiece. More in a, I mean, you grow up with those movies. You, yeah. As terrible as they are, I mean. Oh, dude, no. Once I saw Mark Wahlberg when they replaced Shia LaBeouf, I was like, okay it's getting a little it's getting a little yeah 
Yeah. I don't like the fifth one. I hate that one. Speaking of Michael Bay, though, I don't know if you've seen his new movie, Ambulance. It came out like in April. Dude, oh, my. That I mean, actually was a good movie. I want to see that movie. I know which one you're talking about. That has the guy, uh, what the fuck, John something, right? Isn't that his name? The dude that played Mysterio? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. How did I feel? I was literally. <laughs> you know, I, I know his name. It's, I think it's John something. He was in The Guilty. Yes, it was. How did I forget this? I was looking. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, do you need my Wi Fi? Maybe, maybe. <laughs> I absolutely do. Hold on. <laughs> I just, I'll put the Wi-Fi password Jake in. Jake Gyllenhaal. It was Jake Gyllenhaal and then Yaya Abdul-Mateen. They co-starred in that with uh, Isaac Gonzalez. She was the, the EMT chick, right? She was the EMT chick. Camila. Yeah. Cam. Cam. Camila Cam. That was her name in the movie? Cam. Like camera? Like camera, yeah. Wait, I'm confused. Is this her real name? No, her real name is Isaac Gonzalez. In the movie, her name is oh, Cam. Oh, okay. I was kind of confused for a second. No, but if you watch that movie, it's, it's actually like probably one of Michael Bay's best. Okay. There was a lot of cool stuff. They did. First of all, Jake Gyllenhaal was having a blast with that role. I mean, you can tell the man was just going to fall off, like having fun. Mm -hmm. He was just insane. Uh, also, a cool thing, a really fascinating thing is the drone footage they use in that. You, you see it in the trailers, but there's a lot of like really fast paced shots. There's this kid. I have him on Instagram. But he's like he's like a nineteen year old kid, twenty years old at this point, I think. Mm -hmm. He does like he literally does these drone shots for all these movies. You know, I, I did some of that in high school, believe it or not. It goes so hard. Yeah, I uh the story time. So <laughs> I uh I was I think a sophomore and my friend was like hey uh these people are paying me like the school is paying me to record their football game for them and if you come help me i'll split it with you so i was like okay and it was at st paul john newman so i went there and he was telling me like oh like you know it's a drone you fly it over he had like a little <laughs> control pad and shit and i was like oh cool and we also had like this camera that was on a tripod that could like extend really high so we had that and we had to control it with like a you know, like the it's like a wheel thing. It's on an umbrella. The, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. Yeah. Well, anyway, I flew the drone into the field goal post and broke it. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, I broke the cam. Oh, I didn't. I didn't break the camera. I think the camera was just broken. But it, it slid down the tripod and just slammed it really hard into it. Yeah. It's painful. Yeah. I just uh, after that we just left. You know, I've never used <laughs> Are you serious? Yeah, I know. I, I know everyone else who has. I mean, I've worked with like three different people who like use drones. Well, I can't say anything. I broke the one I was using. I don't know. I'm not really ready for one yet. I mean, I'm fine with the gear I have. I haven't found the need. And if I do, I just hit somebody up that has one. There you go. That's the mentality to have. How much are even drones? Aren't they like $3,000? Drones are expensive, man. Five hundred dollars for like a cheap one. Do you do you believe? Do you believe that birds are drones? Oh, absolutely. That's like the. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go, bro. Finally, someone that understands. Also, like I think that anybody that wears an IRS windbreaker is a skinwalker. And I. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, this is gonna get me in so much trouble. An IRS. <laughs> Define an IRS. Just a windbreaker that says IRS. Yeah. Are, you, are you from Skinwalker Ranch? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, have you heard about what's happened at that ranch? No. Oh, the <laughs> No, I just look at the memes. That's how I know. I think, isn't a skinwalker like someone that can, sh can shape shift, right? Yeah. Oh, like an ant, like, like oh, like the reptile people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's every political figure ever. Yeah, like they just shape shift into like Girl Scouts. <laughs> what? You've never seen those memes? No, bro, I've never seen oh, that. Shit. I should stop. I should stop. No, no, no. You gotta, you gotta keep going, bro. That sounds really funny. Shape shifting into Girl Scouts. You've never seen those memes of like people. Saying like when there's a skinwalker outside of my house, like that looks like a Girl Scout, and it's like a meme of them like pulling out a gun. Like, <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I mean, yo, I, I, it's so I, terrible. I I disapprove of it officially. I mean, yo, if there was a skinwalker outside my house, I'd, I'd blast it without a doubt. <laughs> yeah, without a doubt. <laughs> you know, it's a fucking alien but or some good. shit. 
There would be here too. I mean, we're in Naples. All the way. Yo, do you want to hear something really creepy that happened to me around here? I was leaving my boy's house. He lives next door. Yeah. And I was smoking weed with him. Yeah. And yo, I didn't leave his house until like 1.30 in the morning. And I was walking home. It's pitch black out, bro. And it's dead silent, dude. So I'm just walking. And then I hear like a person scream at the time and it was like like a pitching scream like blood curdling yeah yeah like a, if a woman was getting murdered it it's like terrifying like a banshee bro it was crazy to this it, day we don't know what that is no and because i fucking ran inside yeah fuck no, that no i'm not i'm not trying to get caught with that bro you know that no my me. luck it's like some fucking demon you know that reminds me of all those creepy like people will post stuff on like youtube of like their ring cameras like catching the weirdest shit Oh, seen, like a video where it was like a car driving by with a girl screaming inside it and like a guy screaming like, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> that was never resolved. I bet it wasn't. She got kidnapped. Yeah, yeah bro. They are probably taking her to like Fox Nation. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I saw one video of the ring cam where... There was a lady just staring into the ring camera and just smiling. I saw one. It was the creepiest thing. It was like it was a lady, an older lady. It was like a lady who was clearly like a schizophrenic and she was like holding a knife. She <laughs> walks up, like rings the doorbell. Starts yelling at it. No, she's just standing there like holding the knife, like kind of like twitching and, you know, like waiting for someone to come out to shank him or something. I don't know. To shank him? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know how fucking like, you know what else I saw? I saw a video of someone, they had a nest, I think it's called like a Google Nest, and it was in the middle of their kitchen and you could see like, you know, it's recording the kitchen. And then somebody hacked into it and started talking to the people in the kitchen. It, dude, nah. And that's why I don't fuck with any Alexas or anything. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. That's why I don't have any around the house either, dude. My mom, my mom bought me like a Google Home. I never used it. Yeah, I threw it away. Yeah. Chucked it. Yeah, like, hell no. Doesn't matter. We have iPhones. We're being tracked. Reject modernity. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, uh, I mean, that that's clearly a thing, bro. Because I remember one day I distinctively talked about lawnmowers for an hour with some of my friends. Lawnmowers. Yeah, lawnmower. I guarantee you I'll open my phone. Oh, my right down it, I say it, and I'll see an ad for, like, lawnmowers. I guarantee you. Yeah. Same with, like, Spotify. Everyone's always posting, like the top hits in their in their story i mean they're spying on you <laughs> they're literally keeping track of how much music you listen to. yeah they're literally <laughs> and it's like let's go hey, yo, I, fuck, to... I did it bro my phone tracked me for twenty thousand minutes of me listening to music bro <laughs> let's go bro we are one with the we're system <laughs> hours of kanye <laughs> <laughs> Hell Dude, yeah. That's not gonna look good on my story. <laughs> Dude, Kanye was my second most listened to artist no, no, of the whole year. Topic. Have you seen like people post like that stuff and they've got Kanye and they'll like scribble him out? <laughs> <laughs> and it's like really obvious it's Kanye. But, but bro, like, he made graduation, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, he made graduation, bro. John, quick, we gotta go back in time. We gotta stop Kanye from the graduation. We have to stop him. We... <laughs> it's like a Bill and Ted. <laughs> we have to go back in time and stop this guy from ruining his career. Marty, <laughs> we have to go back. <laughs> Marty, yo, <laughs> Marty, we have to go back and stop it. Hop in the DeLorean. No. Apparently, I found out he has like a Parkinson's. The guy that played the oh yeah for a, for a while now. Yeah, I forgot a dude's name, dude. What is his name? A Jamie Fox. That's not Jamie Fox. No. <laughs> I'm talking about Back to the Future. No, Michael J. Fox. Michael J. Okay, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Jamie Fox was the one. I promise you guys, I'm better with celebrity names. I don't know what's going on with me tonight. <laughs> Jamie Fox and Back to the Future. Electro. <laughs> Electron and Back to the Future, bro. Oh my God. Oh shit, that's a DeLorean. <laughs> Is that your Jamie Foxx impression? I don't know. I don't know. Oh, uh, okay. I mean, doesn't he just sound like that? And basically, every role he plays now. Uh, did you see Day Shift? I have not. 
What a movie, bro. I've seen, I've seen Django. That's a great movie. I know. That is a great movie. The Silent Hillbilly. <laughs> I remember watching that when I was in like, it was like 2016. I was high as fuck in a basement watching this movie. Django? Like, yeah. It's my favorite Tarantino movie. Your favorite Tarantino movie? Yeah. That one in uh, The Hateful Eight I love too. Hateful Eight's pretty good. I like that movie. Uh, dude, do you like uh, like all right, your top directors go. Oh, this is going to be contrary. Top directors. Top, uh, top right, directors. Leap of faith time. I, I don't even know like half the directors. Number one, Zack Snyder. Zack Snyder. What movies have the... All right, you got to tell me what movies they directed because I've probably seen those movies. 300, Watchmen, Man of Steel, Batman v Superman, The Snyder Cut. Oh, okay. So like all the DC movies. Well, the first most, couple. Most of them. Yeah, I've seen those. 300, Watchmen, Sucker Punch. None of the Dead was his first movie okay the reboot in 2003 i love his visual style i like how everything is very he's got a very stylized way of doing things and it's also there's like really deep themes i like the seriousness i think it's a very unique look he's also a very all-out balls to the walls director balls to the wall yeah he shoots everything on film until recently with the netflix stuff because Netflix, everything has to be shot on Reddit. That's a digital camera, by the way. Wait, what? There's film and there's digital. Film is like the old-fashioned cameras where, like, you know, you shoot it and then you print it, scan it, and all that. Oh, okay. Oh, I think I've seen. Yeah, like when people say, like, all oh, the film fell out the and camera. There's digital, like, I mean, like our phones, where you just yeah record it and just upload that to the computer. Dude, those phones have some really nice fucking cameras on them, man. No, they do. Yeah. Yeah. Who would be my number two director? Let me see. Michael I'm really Bay. thinking because I'm so... Like, Michael Bay. Michael Bay. <laughs> you know what? There's a lot to appreciate about Michael Bay, though. Explosions? Nobody does action like he does. No, man. It's a lot of explosions, but it's of, awesome. A lot of explosions, but also, like... <laughs> I know nothing about film. The very chaotic way he does filmmaking, like, it just keeps you hooked. Oh, with all the shit going on, very, like, like in your face. At the same time, it just... You know, it keeps you on your feet and... He's also one of those directors. I mean, he still he shoots everything when he can practically. Obviously, the Transformers aren't practical; those are CGI. But like, the explosions are practical. A lot of the stuff in the Ambulance was practical. I remember there was like one shot that was like a helicopter that was CGI, and I think he had a meltdown because he it didn't look good enough. He had a meltdown. Yeah, he was like getting pissed at everyone, like his crew. He's known to be very he's known to be very bipolar on set. So Yo. Like, if you look it up, he'll like look him up on like the set of Transformers. He's like always screaming and cursing at everyone. Dude, did you see the video of Tom Cruise yelling at the whole uh for the COVID? Yeah. Yeah, dude. I saw that like a couple months ago. He was it's really uh, reasonable. I can understand. I mean, that was at a point where a lot of people were out of a job and they have like the opportunity to go work yeah and i mean that it's like you're at, that was at such a fragile point with covid that i mean one person doesn't wear a mask suddenly the whole thing becomes a risk and then like they shut it down and everyone's out of a job again and you know tom cruise with his movies he might not be the director but he is a big part of them i mean he's basically yeah he's like the main character still, yeah they are still his movie that's why people call him like the last like the last hollywood celebrity or the last movie star because for him, it's not like he doesn't do it for a paycheck. Like he loves the movies, he acts in them, he takes a big part in like the storytelling of them, like the whole pre-production aspect. I mean, yeah, like he like he's all in. He's there for the entire thing. He himself like advertises the whole movie. It's not like like a lot of people these days. A lot of celebrities, they'll do the movie, they'll get paid, they'll put on a pretty face in the interviews and say all this stuff. But I mean, a lot of them don't really care about. Yeah. You don't really care. It's just the job. And it's on to like the next rule, the next job. With Tom Cruise, it's not like that. With The Rock, it's not like that. Although, eh, The Rock kind of plays himself. (laughs) Well, The Rock, Rock, do you think The Rock is on steroids? Joe Rogan said that The Rock is on steroids after the whole Liver King thing. Yeah, I heard about the Liver King thing. I don't know about The Rock. Maybe, maybe not. He, he looks too insane to be like a real human being. Like He looks know, insane? I don't know if you've seen that picture of him like in, in the set of Black Adam, like shirtless. 
He does not look like a real person. <laughs> I, no, he doesn't because he's, you know, the rock. And he's he's, got, he, like, he's juiced up, bro. I, he's got veins popping up like. <laughs> he's everything. juiced up, bro. He, uh, you know, he's not, he's not human. The rock is not human. You think he's a skinwalker? Do I think he's a skinwalker? <laughs> Do you think Bigfoot can travel through dimensions? I don't know a shit about Bigfoot. Well, I think Bigfoot can travel through dimensions. How does he do it? So what I heard was like, since he's a Sasquatch and like the way that other people perceive oh time and space <laughs> is there's little uh, like cracks and like wormholes. And for some reason, Bigfoot can like detect that <laughs> and he can just walk through it, bro. Like, that's why some people think like, oh, like when he runs away and then he just magically vanishes, you know, they're like, what the he fuck? But then he walks in between the realm between realms. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like, like the dwarves in God of War. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Literally, <laughs> literally <laughs> like, yeah. like Sindri just pulls that disappearance. Did you play the new one? I played the new one. Did you beat it? Yeah. How do you feel? I finally have someone I can talk to about this, dude. And I work at fucking GameStop. You work at GameStop? Yeah. Which one? Part-time, bro. The one by uh, the the new Amazon warehouse behind it. Uh, I don't know. I, I go to the one over here in Naples near, next to the, to the old Toys R Us. Yeah, I know that one. Yeah. Yeah. I know some people that work there, bro. <laughs> I love that guy. I don't know. I mean, can we get into spoilers in this podcast? Yeah, if you didn't be God of War and you don't want to listen to the spoilers, just skip ahead, like, I don't know, seven minutes. Seven minutes? Yeah. All right, that's enough time. I the, loved it. You loved it? I felt like a lot of people that maybe there should have been a third game in that Norse story. Okay. But I understand why they didn't. It takes like five to six years for them to make these games. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna wait 15 years to get a complete trilogy. And by the time, I mean, Atreus is gonna be like what 20? Yeah, laying laying pipe to his new he's shorty. Already, he's already 18. The actor's already 18. He's already 18. Yeah. Oh my god. I know it's insane. Speaking of, I don't know if you saw him at the Game Awards when Christopher Judge won. He had this like really pissed face. It was so hilarious. Oh man, I bet he looked like. That one little kid that just didn't get like that piece of candy their mom said. Oh my gosh, he I mean his mm. night was ruined. He's <laughs> <laughs> like, fuck. I, remember, I, have him on <laughs> I already planned the evening. I remember I, I have him on Instagram, so I remember right after that ceremony, I see a post where he's like, I'm disappointed that I didn't win the award, but like regardless, I'm very happy for Christopher Judge. <laughs> Who, by the way, gave the longest speech I've ever heard in my life. Did you see that guy that got up on the stage and he wasn't supposed to be there? It was like a troll. Thank you. I would like to, I think I'd like to nominate this award to my... <laughs> my, my rabbi. My Bill. informed orthodox rabbi, Bill Clinton. Thank you. And then he got escorted. That right there is the perfect real life example of... Social stealth from Assassin's Creed. <laughs> Social stealth? He just walked right with them like he belonged. <laughs> yeah, bro. When he walked into the crowd of people, he immediately like turned gray. I, I've seen the, I saw the video on repeat. So he goes up into that stage and he, you know, he, he does this, like he's escorting them. Yeah. So like, he pretends. He, he pretends, He's dude. like a guard or something. They, he got by, they bamboozled them. And he with them like he's part of the Elden Ring team. <laughs> <laughs> He bamboozled them, bro. Nobody even cares that there's a baby standing next to them. There was a baby next to him? Him. The kid. There was a baby next to him? No. The oh. kid. It's like this clean-shaven kid. Oh. Oh, okay. That took me a minute to click. I saw a couple of videos. That's a crazy like, hairdo. I forgot what his name was, but I saw some stuff on YouTube because, you know, obviously after that, people started interviewing him. Oh, man. Imagine having him on the pod. <laughs> oh, but, uh, he'd probably sneak in here yeah but regarding i got a voice spoilers because i know that's the topic we were in yeah we just completely yeah. deferred it off of that but yeah i did not uh i didn't like how they killed odin i thought it would have been cool if they like you know like ripped them in fucking half <laughs> or something like that you know like something fucking cool are you a fan of the old god of war games i really am yeah i grew up on those games i grew up on those games too those games were so special to me i started playing god of war when i was like five I'm like, <laughs> yeah bro games. i love the old ones dude they're before so that, fucking I mean, good kid, before all that i played like 
fucking SpongeBob and like Sly Cooper. Then you play God of War and it just completely opens you. <laughs> yeah, you're like, whoa. Bro, my PlayStation, yo, we're taking it back to PlayStation 2. I remember I had the God of War game, bro. I had Star Wars Battlefront 2. Oh, I, I had the original Star Wars Lego Saga. I had Marvel's versus the Imperfects. Or the Inhumans, Marvel versus the Inhumans. And the Lego Star Wars games. Actually, my first ever exposure to Star Wars was like that first Lego game. The first Lego, the one that was like the prequels. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I think my my first movie was Revenge of the Sith. That's. How do you feel about that movie? I love that movie. I love it too, man. It's my favorite. I mean, it's my favorite Star Wars movies for a couple of reasons, but it's also my first one. So there's that bias. Do you think it's the best Star Wars movie? If you take me out of the equation, I think Empire Strikes Back is the best Star Wars movie. But Oh my god, dude. Fucking finally, bro. You know how many people I've always asked and they're like, oh, Revenge of the Sith is way better than the Empire Strikes Back. I'm like... Oh. I didn't want to say Empire, though, because that's what everybody says, so I feel like it was a very vanilla answer. Nah, Empire Strikes Back is my favorite. It's I mean... the general consensus, though, Empire. Yeah, but... uh. But Revenge of the Sith is so grand. I love it. Oh, yeah, dude. I love it. Speaking of Star Wars, have you seen Andor? No, man. Is that good? I, I it's keep... the best thing that Disney has are, made. For are you serious? Yeah. I it's saw good. it and I was I tried to watch one episode and I like just couldn't really It's like breaking get it out. It's a slow burn. Each three episodes is like a story arc. So like the first two set everything up and then the third one's where all the shit starts like getting real. Oh, okay. Did you like Rogue One? I did like Rogue One. So it's like the same writer, Tony Gilroy, same co-writer anyways. He's the showrunner for Andor. And I fucking love it. I mean, it's very... Because I like how it doesn't it doesn't depend on, like, cameos or anything special. It's like, it's a story focused on, like, the regular people of Star Wars. And, yeah. like, the mature tone, too. I mean, it's got... You know, the, the thing starts and Andor's already in a brothel. In a brothel. He gets he gets profiled by two like Rena cops. Oh yeah, you know I saw the first episode. Yeah, he ends up killing them like head shot point blank. Yeah, you don't really see that in Star Wars. I like that darker aspect. Yeah, man. A lot of uh shows and shit are kind of going down like that darker little path. Even I, I can't even say. I mean, we all saw a fucking She Hulk twerk, but I can even say like <laughs> like Obi Wan and Boba Fett were especially insulting. Both those shows were terrible. You thought Obi Wan was terrible? I didn't like it. I thought Obi Wan was stupid for the little kid. I like the little kid. The little kid wasn't the problem with me. The problem was that this show is about Obi Wan. Every Obi-Wan Star Wars fans are getting mad. <laughs> Obi Wan Kenobi, the most like. One of the most important characters in your franchise. Yeah. And you shoot everything behind the fucking the volume. You know, the, the, they're using that, that big ass TV screen now to shoot everything in. So like instead of going out on location now, they'll put like they have this big LED screen with like a desert, for example. Oh. Uh, and that it's Oh like, yeah, because I remember they like filmed it like actually in did. a desert. So they have this whole thing now and like the lighting is terrible it's kind of cheap looking the fight wasn't very good compared to Revenge no it wasn't that good no obi-wan made some really dumb decisions in the show i mean i, I can't it was <laughs> i can't do give, it. give us one dumb decision that obi-wan made the show about cassian andor the secondary character in rogue one a prequel of a prequel the fact that that show looks better than a show about obi-wan fucking kenobi is so insulting to me. And then there's Boba Fett. Oh, Boba Fett was just the Mandalorian season two. Half of that, I jacked his own show. <laughs> I hate it. I hate it. I hate it so much. Oh, I'm gonna have a heart attack, man. I hate you go into cardiac arrest. I I hate where I hate where geek culture is going now. <laughs> you, you hate where it's geek so culture. Soulless. Do you collect Funkos? No. My um, sister does, though. Dude, yeah, I'm falling down that, like, addiction. It's, like, worse than crack, man. Really? Yeah, it's bad. I never understood the appeal. What is the appeal? Uh, the appeal to me is the resale value on some of them. Oh. 
Well, I mean, I know people are just collecting the collect. I mean, I, I do that too, bro, because I have like I'm working on the Deadpool collection, and then I have the Attack on Titan collection right here. But I know a guy who wasn't who filled like an entire wall with Funko Pops. Like that's his room Dude. decoration. Oh, that's sick, bro. Yeah, it's like my boy, uh, my boy Brandon. He he has a crazy amount of Funkos. It's bad. It's worse than me, dude. Yeah, since I work at fucking GameStop, you know, every time I go there, like oh, I see, yeah. I see like the shipment that comes in of like the cool Funkos and the cool action figures and shit. And I'm like, dude, I'm whipping, I'm using that employee discount, bro. I mean, I have, I have a fair amount of stuff I used to collect like back in high school. Like, a lot of like figures of like stuff. Not too much now. That stuff's like sitting in my attic. More mostly like. There's not a lot of decorations in my room right now because I'm barely in it. I'm always out doing stuff. Yeah. So it's mostly empty. There's a couple of, I mean, I frame my pictures, my photos. Yeah, yeah. So I have a couple of those hanging there. And my <clears throat> my goal is to fill the entire wall with, like, my entire, like, photography. The thing is, it's so expensive to do that. I mean, to print the photo out and then to, like, get a cover like that for it. It's a lot of money, man. Oh, yeah, like the frame and everything. Yeah. I'll end up like spending eighty dollars on one photo. Do you have like an insane camera? Because I know you like to take pictures. Do you have like an insane camera? Believe it or not, no. My camera is pretty beginner level. I have a Sony A sixty, A six four hundred. So it's like an eight hundred dollar camera. Okay. I I'm actually planning on selling it right now because I got another new camera. I have a Sony. I have a Canon now. What made you want to change from Canon to Sony? I don't like Sony too much anymore. It's too digital looking. The file size is too small. I've had the camera for like two years now, so I just wanted to try something new. There's that too. I think Canons are a little better when it comes to photography. I have, what I have is like, I have a setup with like two different cameras. One is for photos, one's for video. So like for video, I have a Blackmagic Pocket. Okay. Which is like, it's, I mean, it's, it's an expensive camera, but compared to like what they use for like movies and Netflix, oh yeah, no, that's insane. It's cheap, but like it does give you that same type of quality. That it's a cinema camera, so it gives you that same movie like quality. Uh huh. Without having to spend forty thousand dollars on the body alone. Jesus Christ. Yeah, those cameras are expensive. That's a that's it's a car. That's a car. That's a that's a Jeep. Yeah. It's a down payment on a house. Yeah. You know that's ridiculous. Yeah. So there's that, and then there's like my photo camera. Which right now is the Canon RP, and that's what I'm gonna be using moving forward. But Sony's good. I mean, it's good to start with. I would recommend it as a camera if you're somebody who's looking for one. Oh, I just curious because I've been looking around at cameras and shit like that. But no, I don't have anything insane. Like for example, I know a lot of people right now are getting the Canon R, and that camera is like thousand dollars, five thousand and five hundred dollars, something like that. Wow, fifteen hundred dollar camera. The, are expensive. Yeah, yeah, a lot of shit. It's and then people get into the mentality like that they're like, oh, if I upgrade, uh, people uh most get of my addiction and it's terrible. And I've been there because then I start thinking if I have this camera, my stuff will look better. Yeah, there's a lot of factors in it. There's how you frame the photo. There's the lighting. Lighting's a huge. Oh yeah, that makes or breaks it. And I'm not too good at lighting. I'll admit that. I have a friend who's a lot better at me. I always go to him for advice, but. There's that aspect of it. There's the editing aspect. I color a lot. I color all my photos. Oh, like it, oh, they come out black and white? No, they come out. I mean, they come out with like the regular color profile. You know, I, I shoot raw, so like it's a very muddy, muddy color profile because it just kind of. Oh wait, I remember that now. The most detail possible, and then I go on Adobe and I use Adobe Lightroom to just edit them, turn up the colors mess with the color palette see what i want to do you know i don't i make my own presets and then adjust them like that sometimes too normally i don't use stuff like that like filters on photos are terrible because you know every photo has like a different lighting situation so it's not always gonna fit yeah and also like i see you know a lot of influencers do that a lot of influencers have like the same teal and orange because teal and orange are the colors that are complementing to the eyes. Oh, you mean oh, you mean like the the hot to talk boys, bro? Yeah. With the fucking sexy filter they have. <laughs> Every girl on Tinder does the same yeah. thing too. They all have like the teal. Oh, hot take, bro. <laughs> Wait, what do you mean hot take? Bro? Hot take. Hot take. <laughs> girl, girls on Tinder. Is Tinder? Are you on Tinder, Roberto? 
Me? Yeah. I was. I mean, I still am technically, but it's more like an irony thing now because I don't use it for anything. It's like useless to me. Sick, man. I met my girlfriend on Tinder. Really? Yeah. It never works for me. It never, it never works. I feel like I feel like for some people, bro. Um, I don't want to say. <laughs> so, one of my friends was a. Uh, I was sitting next to him one day, and he's like, "Yo, I got Tinder gold, man. To see who who likes my." my pictures on tinder and i'm like yeah man i'm like what's up bro like is there any any of them valid you know like and he's like yo bro they're all straight gremlins and i was like i don't know but that like just quote had me dying in the middle of the fucking place i was at if i say where i was at, i'm just gonna give away the person dude he's not wrong i remember I was <laughs> he's <friend>. not wrong <laughs> It's just such a terrible thing to say. But no, no, I'm sorry. But like, I remember I was telling my friend the same thing. Like, all these girls are like, they look the same. They use the same filters. They do the same poses. And my friend's like, bro, they're NPCs. <laughs> yeah, dude, they, they can fucking no clip. Like, no clipping into the back rooms. I remember I had like 30 likes at one point on my Tinder. So my friend literally bought Tinder gold for me because he was that curious to see who were the 30 women that liked me. Who were the 30 women, you dog? I uh I left swiped all of them. <laughs> <laughs> he was so pissed because he spent that much money and I didn't even like care. <laughs> how much money did he spend on Tinder Gold? I don't know how much it was worth at the time. It was like the cheapest one. He just wanted he just wanted to pay to like unlock it and see. Like it was just a curiosity thing for him. Uh, but he also quote unquote wanted to see me happy. He wanted to see you happy? Yeah, it didn't work. I feel like I <laughs> oh man just just let let uh let roberto film the next uh avengers movie man movie man they could use my help yeah yeah <laughs> i would love i'd love to see that bro <laughs> they, they need my help man it's he's gonna digital looking he needs my help he's gonna come in and save the day kevin <laughs> kevin feige kevin feige Kevin, help me. Did you watch any of the new Marvel stuff out? I kind of quit Marvel, but I watched the first half of Thor Love and Thunder. I couldn't finish it. Did you walk out the theater? <laughs> no, I watched it on Disney. I wait for, I wait for Disney Plus now. <laughs> oh, okay. I, I, watched, I watched the first half of Love and Thunder. I watched the last two episodes of She-Hulk just because Daredevil was in it. Like yeah. I skipped the entire show until that. I couldn't finish Moon Knight. I got bored. Are you fucking serious? You got bored of Moon Knight? I got bored of Moon Knight. I thought Moon Knight was so good. I did like Oscar Isaac though. Yeah, I think he played. I mean, the CGI in that movie or that movie that show wasn't the was that good. Cast. I did watch Shang Chi. I'm like, that's all right. I Shang Chi was all over the place. Yeah. What else did I? What other shows came out? Loki, I love. That's like the one phase four thing I like aside from Spider Man. No Way Home? Yeah. That's a great film all around. No Way Home and. Uh, and if you haven't seen it, you're an idiot. <laughs> no, I watched No Way Home like three times. Yeah, I saw it. Yeah, I saw it a couple times, man. I sat a fair amount of times. No, yeah, that's a. I haven't seen it since then, and maybe I should, but. Uh, you see the trailer for the new In the Spider Verse movie? Oh, yeah, it's going to be dope. Oh, yeah. That's going to be awesome. That looks sick, man. You know, I heard that how that's supposed to end is Miles Morales is supposed to travel the Spider-Verse until he ends up in the real life, either MCU or the real life Sony universe. Oh, boy. Yeah. So Can let's go meet Morbius. Oh, dog, what a film. I haven't seen it. <laughs> Dude. I have it on my list of Netflix. I've been meaning to see it. I still Dude, haven't. It's, it's more than time, bro. It's it's more than time. Yeah, Jared Leto. Dude, that movie was so fucking bad, bro. You have <laughs> no idea, Roberto. You have no idea how bad this fucking I movie was. I can't control it. <sighs> He's so dumb. I think that whole like the action in it, the CGI, the fucking like it, it's all just terrible. It's corporate. It's corporate. It's corporate. I mean, it's it's they wanted to make a movie. They came up with it in a boardroom. They got a director to call action. I mean, there's not much more to it. It's not, there's a difference between a movie like that, you know, a movie by committee and then a movie by a filmmaker who like 
For example, have you seen the new Batman movie? Yeah, I liked it. Yeah, so like that's a movie that like a director, like he had his own Batman story that he wanted to tell, inspired by some comic book stuff. You know, he wrote his own script with Peter Craig. He brought in Robert Pattinson because, you know, he thought he fit the part perfectly. You know, it's a director wanting to tell his story. It's all like yeah. his art. It's his artwork. Yeah. Did you think Robert Pattinson played a good Batman? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. I, I think he did, but I just couldn't get over the fact that he was in the fucking Twilight. Yeah, everybody says that. No, he's a really good actor. If you see him in Good Time, that's probably his best performance. And there's a bunch of other movies he's in. He does, I mean, after Twilight, he did a lot of... Oh, movies. yeah, I know. He did, like, a lot of movies and stuff. He I'm did a lot of... Well, he did... He moved to, like, a lot of smaller stuff, like, more artsy, independent stuff. So that really gave him a lot of room to, like, exercise his acting. Mm -hmm. And, I mean, I think that's why Matt Reeves ultimately casted him because Matt Reeves said that like when Robert Pattinson auditioned for the role I mean he just knew he was the perfect Batman for him and he kind of he kind of wrote it with someone like Robert Pattinson in mind somebody who could play that tortured aspect of Batman I mean it's a very different Batman too because that Batman is a little more of a recluse he's not he's less of a playboy more of like Matt Reeves literally wrote him like Kurt Cobain I mean that's why the Nirvana song is in the movie yeah yeah he took a lot of inspiration from that type of personality of someone who's gone through a lot of stuff and is like always in the spotlight Are you uh you team Edward or team jacob bro the team edward <laughs> <laughs> edward's the vampire right yeah yeah yeah, yeah roberto <laughs> how the fuck should i know i've only seen the first one that was like 17 years ago dude the best one i saw was because uh I uh I dabbled in the Twilight saga. Dabble. I dabble. Dabble. I dabble. You know, but uh I saw one and I forget which one it is. I think it's like New Dawn, but <laughs> 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 I remember there's a scene. Yeah, New Dawn. Yeah, I think I I think that's the name of the one. I don't know. Right? Isn't that that's the name of a Twilight movie? I Bert. think it's New Dawn. New that's what I said, New Dawn. I thought you said Nude Dawn. Oh no, no. I said New nude <laughs> yeah yeah dude it's, it's a twilight porno bro that's what i was watching yeah yeah no way <laughs> but there's a scene and like they're on this island yeah and they're in a tent and it's for some reason it's edward jacob and bella they're in a tent isabella swan <laughs> and she's cold so taylor lautner immediately just takes his shirt off and just and goes, her. yeah, naturally, and just hugs her and then looks at her boyfriend and like cocks him because he's a vampire and can't keep, him, can't keep his girl warm. You know, I can never get past the fact that he played Shark Boy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what a fucking film. You know, that's the guy who directed like half the Boba Fett episodes, right? The dude that, no way, the guy that directed Shark Boy and Lava Girl? Robert Rodriguez, yeah. Well, no wonder Boba Fett was fucking, <laughs> fucking lucky the way it was then, bro. Makes sense now. No wonder had, like, the fucking Power Rangers on Vespas. The Power Rangers? Those fucking TikTokers on Tatooine with the fucking, like, colored motorcycles. I didn't see that. Oh, oh, yeah. Okay, now I know what you're talking. The Power Rangers? <laughs> it took a minute to click. I thought you were actually talking about the actual fucking Power Rangers. No, the fucking cyberpunk kids they put in. The cyberpunk kids. Have you played the game cyberpunk? I love cyberpunk. Cyberpunk is awesome, man. Now, I'll be honest. I've been super busy, and it's a big game. I quit halfway and just watched all the cutscenes on YouTube. So oh, I went back to playing it recently. I haven't, and now I'm taking a break. I was playing God of War. I'm fairly educated in the world of cyberpunk, and I watched the anime, which also slaps. I love that anime. I think it's so like just dope as fuck. I love how everything Netflix about it. Make the best and the worst shows. Oh yeah, man. Yo, you watch a. <laughs> you watch a. You watch Cuties, dude. No. No. I haven't actually. Yo. I haven't seen that. I haven't seen Tiger King. Oh, me neither. I've watched like maybe two episodes of Tiger Tiger King, and then I just gave up. Because Netflix will like, they'll make a show and then it'll become the biggest thing for like three weeks. Yeah, then it just dies out. It's always like something they're touching. I did watch Wednesday recently. You know, my girlfriend was watching that and she was telling me about it. Should I watch it? Is it good? It's all right. I'm not really, it's a Tim Burton show. So like you should expect that very gothic, wacky vibe from him. I don't know if you've seen any Tim Burton movies. 
I've seen uh, the very first Batman movie. Okay. He also did that uh, the Johnny Depp Charlie and the Chocolate Factory movie. Okay, I've seen them. Yeah, so I mean that kind of vibe. It wasn't really for me, but I mean Jenna Ortega's performance was like captivating, so that's what kept me hooked. You know, I didn't know that Tim Burton directed that Charlie and the Chocolate Factory movie. Yeah, he did that, and what else? Did he, do? He, he does a lot of stuff. That man is still like working to this day. Yo, then he then he direct the Nightmare Before Christmas. Yeah, he did. Yeah. Oh, dude! So I, that vibe. I mean, if you're I love that, that. I love that movie. If you're into that vibe, you'd probably like Wednesday. Hmm. Dude, the Nightmare Before Christmas is a amazing movie. Yeah, classic. My sister loves that. The, the fuck is this? It's it's snow. <laughs> the fuck is this? It's an elf. You know, my girlfriend hasn't seen Elf. Man, I saw it recently, actually. Not for the first time. Okay, I was about to say, first Robert, are you movie, are you serious? Like six, yeah. Man. Back when, like, I lived in Puerto Rico and like watched movies on cassettes. You lived in Puerto Rico? Dude, I'm Puerto Rico. I know you're Puerto Rico. I just didn't know you lived in Puerto Rico. Seven years. Wow. Did you? So you lived there when you were born? I was born there, lived there for seven years, then moved to Lakeland here. Huh. I'm more used to it here now, but. Yeah. Yeah. What's it like in Puerto Rico, man? I've never been, so enlighten me. Hot. Okay. It's not very common to have an AC at your house. The windows are those types of windows where they're like they're like shutters, and you got the little thing where you twist them open and close. Okay. Loud music because people like blast their music. A lot of Loud music. Centipedes, little animals like that. Did you just describe the bugs? <laughs> <laughs> Centipedes. <laughs> Yeah, they'll, 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 you'll be like walking, you'll be walking through your house and there'll be like a centipede like on the floor, like approaching you rapidly. <laughs> <laughs> Just step on the fucker, dude. You know, there's a, there's a myth, like an urban legend about like 14 foot long centipedes that eat people. <laughs> you mean like the New York alligators? <laughs> oh yeah, they live in the sewers. They live in the sewers? No, it's probably just a rat. Dude, the rats in New York are fucking disgusting. Yeah. I heard they get really fucking big. It's New York. I bet they're a dick too, like everyone else in New York. <laughs> you think? <laughs> dick like... Oh, man, I'm going to try to do... A... I know, I've never been in New York, but I know a lot of New Yorkers. I'm from New Jersey, so I'm like considered what New Yorkers would consider trash. <laughs> <laughs> You know, nicest New Yorker I know told me to piss off. What? Nicest New Yorker I know told me to piss off. Oh no. He told you to piss off? Yeah. That's a British thing. Piss off, bloke. That in the life of a true Brexit geezer. <laughs> <laughs> Pick up the wife, Susan. My little princess. <laughs> Ain't she beautiful, isn't it? <laughs> Take out the Bugatti for a spin. <laughs> Dude, that's my... Whip, whip out the Bugatti. Fill that plate. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, if you... That that meme is amazing. <laughs> whip out the plate and it's like a kid's cuisine fucking... It's not even that. It's like morsels on a plate. <laughs> it's like two Vienna sausages... Oh god. <laughs> Speaking of weird food, dude, um uh recently I had to indulge in some fucking Arby's. I will never do that again. Arby's? Yeah. I don't think I've ever eaten Arby's. Well you're not missing much, dude. Honestly, did not feel good after. I don't eat a lot of fast foods anymore. Yeah, dude. I, I don't do that either. I really try to not like do it, but like for some reason it was just convenient and I was super hungry and I'm like, fuck it, man. Like I, that's like when I take an exception, I'm like starving. Yeah, and it's like, well, I guess I'll eat, you know, humans mashed up in the McDonald's nuggets. You know, <laughs> it is. Do you do you think that like uh, you obviously know it's not chicken, right? McDonald's chicken nuggets. Oh no, yeah, that's like that. That's paste. Yeah, you're you're eating paste. Yeah, yeah, you're eating. And uh, there's a an ingredient in Chick Fil A sauce that uh, it's actually used in root canals, and it's in the Chick Fil A sauce. Like you eat that. 
I don't care, dude. Chick fil A still fucking really slaps. It doesn't surprise me anymore. Like, it gets to the point where you see that and it's like you just keep eating because, I mean. <laughs> You're like, fuck it, dude. It's so good, bro. Fuck it. Just start devouring it, dude. Who gives a fuck, dude? It's like Filthy Frank said McDonald's would come out tomorrow and be like, you oh, actually know what's Filthy in Frank. Them. Oh, yeah, dude. Like, fucking vomit, like, vomit cake. <laughs> <laughs> vomit cake do you remember that episode i remember that oh for those who don't know bro this dude literally had like three of his friends throw up in a pan and they baked it all and ate it that is like that's, where the that's some creative came. content though that's when the items cancer jokes came out no that was the hair cake one because they cut off all his hair and then <laughs> it's so gross <laughs> it's so gross you can't do that in youtube anymore do you listen to joji George, not too much, but I mean, I'm familiar with his music. It's so, he's such a good artist, man. He's such a good artist. I just did an Are They Mid on him. So good. Good for him, though. I mean. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He literally just, it's really hard to like just transfer from one thing to another like that, you know, yeah. and be at the level. Especially it's when crazy. there's so many videos of you being like the literal worst person. <laughs> yeah, dude. Have you seen like the loser reads hater comments videos? I've seen every single video. Oh, dude. <laughs> Wife that. hack. <laughs> oh yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> Is your pet misbehaving? Just put it well, in. Good it. news, you can put him in a nice long sock. <laughs> <laughs> Do you remember when he did that, and then that guy commented and said that my hamster died, and I'm offended at this. <laughs> and he said, "If Bill Frank was like your hamster, will never be as fucking cool as mine." Oh, that's right, because yours is dead. <laughs> Sad, savage mode. Remember when people were in the hater comments were like being racist to him? And oh like, they were calling him. A, they were saying like Japanese stuff. Yeah, they said that they should nuke Japan <laughs> another time. <laughs> <laughs> Which that that's a, a fucking insane thing to put out there. And then his response is whatever floats your boat or sinks it. <laughs> Oh no, bro! It really was a different time, man. I, I, I. <laughs> <laughs> so derailed. <laughs> derailed. What's on your mind? Should we? Yeah, you know we should just. Remember that. You don't remember that? No. Oh. Uh, Did you say that? No, I said that. Oh. <laughs> shit, I <can't. laughs> no, I kid, I kid. I do not condone. No, but Filthy Frank is uh, insane. <laughs> it's all good. We're going to take it out in the edit. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, so, wait, so, go ahead. No, you go. I was going to say, I think the only person that still does like that messed up humor now is like Family Guy. <laughs> really? Do you watch Family Guy? I love Family Guy. Family Guy? So, well, do you think the new season's funny? Oh, well, I watch it because of the ridiculousness of it, not because I think oh. it's, like, actual, like... I think it's ridiculous, too. That's why it's funny. Like, you, 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 you're hooked because you want to know you want to know how deep they're going to dig themselves into. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see the one where Brian was, like, fucking the carny? <laughs> Did you see that one? The what? The carny, like, the, the girl that works at the fair. You know, like, you know behind the the booth that like it's like oh here's five dollars smoking a cigarette it's like pop five balloons and you get a prize oh uh, hey peter remember the time <laughs> <laughs> no i don't i don't remember that is that your joe impression no that's brian uh, hey, hey peter okay <laughs> was that was that the joe impression yeah. <laughs> hey uh peter, hey, peter. <laughs> my my one friend can really peter? do it is that <laughs> lois peter the horse is here. <laughs> <laughs> what's your what's your favorite <laughs> what's your favorite family guy moment? You had to give me some time to think about that one. I was recently watching the the video where they <laughs> it's so stupid. <laughs> They're having a competition, uh they, 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 I forgot what they take, but like they start vomiting. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. It's, you know, the one that almost gets V coded yeah. into like the national anthem for Russia, like stupid stuff like that. Mm -hmm. But they're just like vomiting uncontrollably because they were like having a competition of like whoever like vomits last, like gets like the last piece of pot. <laughs> yeah. And then at the end, Lois shows up and she's like, who wants chowder? Yeah. <laughs> he starts throwing up. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> My favorite scene from Family Guy is when uh, Brian loses a bet with Stewie. And Stewie, like, goes up to him and is like, hey, so, like, do you have my money? And Brian's like, no. Nah. my fucking money? <laughs> Where's my money, bro? He's like, beat him up, dude, lights him on fire, shoots him in both his kneecaps. On the topic of Brian getting beaten up, I think my favorite, I think another favorite moment is uh, when he realizes he banged Quagmire's dad. Oh, and Quagmire <laughs> comes into the house. Where is he? Where is that stupid self <laughs> son of a bitch? And he just beats him up. Yeah. And then Brian's like, hey, I fucked fuck your, your dad. dad. <laughs> where is he where is that arrogant self-centered son of a bitch oh man dude. i'm gonna kill you that episode of family guy was insane i remember the uh do you remember the episode where um where uh where peter shoots cleveland jr by accident yes and then and then at the end i, I didn't expect it it caught me so off guard when when cleveland jr is like oh hey mr griffin Better fucking watch your back, you, you punk bitch. Better fucking watch your back, bitch. <laughs> Have a good day, Mr. Griffin. <laughs> I like the part in that episode where Lois beats him. <laughs> oh, yeah. No. No. Stop it. Yeah. No, that's a terrible idea. Why do you always have to see stupid things? <laughs> and why do you have to tell me when you do them? Because <laughs> he was going to paint himself black. <laughs> no, that, that, that's, that's blackface. Yeah. You know? have you seen smiling friends uh is that the one that gets like really violent but like looks really like cartoony and childish uh, dude, oh dude no 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 that I know, I know no this one seen, yeah this one looks episodes. like something you watch super high at three in the morning and then you can't go to bed i like the episode where they try to stop the guy from trying to shoot himself oh yeah and they kill the bug and they're like you can just do that all right yeah I'll but the, you guys try did you see the, the if you fail i'm gonna fucking shoot myself and make you two watch <laughs> Did you see the episode where uh, oh, they go to like this party to make someone happy and they go in the basement and they find this demon. It's like this like burnt demon and that chases them throughout the house and then they run into where the party is and everyone sees this demon. And then I don't know where the one guy's like, yo, bro, is that fucking blackface? <laughs> and, I've, seen, I've seen a limited amount of episodes. And I'll everyone be hanging out in Kamala and there'll be like an episode play. So that's, I've seen like three maybe. Dude, he's like, no, I'm a demon. Like, I look like this. Like, I swear this isn't blackface. And like, dude, this is blackface. Kick his fucking ass. <laughs> they just start beating the shit out of this guy. <laughs> I guess I, I remember the only other thing I remember from that show is the fucking clip of like the boss or whatever. And he's like breastfeeding this like. Oh, dude, that's so fucking weird. Hey, hey no biting, okay? No biting. <laughs> you see the one where the guy went in the wall and he finds the guy that's living in the wall. No. Tell me about. Oh it. man, it, this guy, this thing. It's not even a, like a guy. It's like this weird looking creature, and it walks into a hole in the wall, and he sees this guy on a PC like watching a video, and the dude just turns around and looks at him. He's like, "What are you doing here?" And he goes, "Um, I'm looking for something. It ran through this wall. Can you point me in the direction?" He's like, "You're not supposed to be here, man. You need to fucking leave like now." And they're like, "But, like, you're living in our wall." And he's like, "Yeah, yeah, yeah, yeah." <laughs> he just kept doing that he's like yeah yeah all right i love that guy the guy who did that uh zach <clears throat> he's in oni plays i don't know if you've seen that youtube channel ld plays oni plays o-n-e-y oh no i've never seen that but like they'll, they'll they'll basically do what we're doing right now shoot the shit they'll be like playing video games and they'll say stupid <laughs> shit <laughs> dude i want to get a switch bro a nintendo switch so bad bro because my the the guys that I work with at GameStop, they uh they have switches and shit, and they're playing the new Pokemon game, bro. It looks so fucking cool. I'm not a huge Nintendo person. My little brother got a Switch, though. He never used it. Dude. I think it's broken now, though. <laughs> yo, I wasn't really into Nintendo games either, and then I saw them playing Pokemon, and I was like, yo, this looks fucking cool. I used to play with Andrew, though, back in Palmetto, because he, will, he would bring a Switch in a class. And it was one of those leaning classes where the teacher didn't really care. So, like, we just sit in the back, like, playing Mario Party, like, until the bell rang. That's so fucking chill, bro. Just playing video games. 
think I remember I played it the first time I played a Switch. I was playing it on a bus to a grad bash, playing NBA, playing fucking 2K on the bus. Let me tell you something, bro. I was I was serving at the Fiends, dude. Yeah. In 2K. Yeah. I was I was crushing it. You know, I couldn't imagine playing a Switch like in Mr. Crowlax class. <laughs> Yo, dude. Do you, bro? Oh my God. I remember, yeah, I remember we, were in, we were in that class, class. dude. Every <sighs> single thing. Oh, do you remember? Do you remember that group chat we had? Yeah, that's, uh, <laughs> yeah, I remember. <laughs> that's something I don't want to bring back, but I remember. Yo, I'm trying to think of like the shit we did in that class. I remember we watched. Did Happy uh, get offended because we were watching a video about smoking and like someone was laughing and. Oh yeah, no, it was me. I was laughing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It was it was because I was making fun of the kids that were in court for their jewel. Yeah. They were like, I've never been so addicted to jewels in my life, and I looked over to my to my friend Debra. Shout out Debra, and I turn around, and I'm like, because she had one too, <laughs> and I did too, because I was like, you know, because. I was a piece of shit. And I like, I had one and I'm like, oh, dude, I'm fucking addicted. And we were just laughing. And then he's like, stop it. It's a serious thing. And I'm like, okay, man, calm down. Just take a chill pill. Whoa, just take it easy, man. I don't know. I don't know if you were there for this. This was like right. I was never in that class, bro. I hated it. (laughs) (laughs) This was right before the bell ringing class started. But uh, the the kid that sat in front of me, the, the football player, Nate. Oh yeah, no, yeah. Yeah, his girlfriend like he cheated on his girlfriend, and she came in and she was like pissed, and they were like fighting. Like, no, like, no way. Yeah, I missed that. Yeah, you missed that. It would have been so awesome. It got really heated, and Mr. Carlisle's like, "Hey, hey, stop it! Keep <laughs> <laughs> going. Dude, how fucking dare you? I trusted you, and you fucking cheated on me." <laughs> Bro, <laughs> Brolac. And then I remember in that same class, you were probably there for this because this was during class. I, I forgot the context of this, but like Nate's like, yo, Mr. Crow, like, you ain't got no game or something like that. And then he and then he's like, Do you really want to tell me that after what happened to start a class? <laughs> Dude, you got no game, bro. Do you uh were you in were you in my math class? Which one? Were you in Mr. Duffy's class? Yes. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Duffy, bro. I miss that guy, that fucking maniac with the fucking bottle. Of food. We were in, yo, that that class. I remember we were in like with the kids that were like just that did not give a fuck, bro. But you were with me. You were. You were, were you was Darren in the class? Darren was in my class with Mr. Duffy. Oh, then we weren't in the same class, dude. I was in. I was in the class where like the kids like did not care, bro. Like they'd fucking like, like. Darren they were bad. Class. I'm just gonna say that they were bad. Darren and I were class clowns in that class. <laughs> what happened in that class? But you you remember when he, that girl got into a fight with the other girl and Mr. Duffy had to run in and like break it up? I remember uh, I remember hearing about it, but I wasn't there for that one. I saw it happen, bro. That's cool, man. I remember one time there was a fight and like one of the teachers was like running and like stopping. He just pushes a kid out of the way to get there. Yeah, dude, fucking straight up truck somebody to stop it. Collateral damage. <laughs> Collateral damage. <laughs> to Plus stop the, the radio on the floor too and to stop. I remember that vividly because I was standing right there when it happened. Like the radio dropped right in front of me. 2319. Starts running in, dude. Like, if I had devious motives, you know, I would have grabbed that radio and... <laughs> <laughs> devious motives. It would have been like, oh, yo, do you remember when the school got spray painted? I remember that vividly. Yeah, everyone was freaking out. I thought it was a bomb threat or something. <laughs> Did you leave early? I used it as an excuse to just leave early. I wish I could, but I didn't have a ride. Yeah, I, uh, I think I had a car. Yeah, I had a car on there. No, no, no. My mom picked me up after the uh, unfortunate <clears throat> shooting. Yeah, the Parkland shooting, yeah. And everybody was like, yeah, I left early. I wasn't, I myself wasn't too, like, nervous about it. Yeah, I just walked out after I heard that. I was like, I'm going it home. pure, like, pandemonium, though. I mean, you had, like, kids protesting guns. You had, like, kids being pulled out. It felt like a fever dream. A fever dream? Yeah. It was weird. Now are you, now what are you used to when you're in school? Not too used to People when you're in school. Like arrested left and right for like the small stuff. Have you ever been arrested? Me no. You? No, I, I've been detained. You've been detained? Yeah, that's not fun, dude. No, the worst encounters have been like getting pulled over for me. Getting pulled over? Yeah. 
Sorry, I'm looking at the schedule. My boss just sent me. Speeding problem. <laughs> You know, I uh, don't get Taco Bell anymore because I got pulled over when I picked up some nacho fries. And I think it's just bad juju for me to go out and get Taco Bell. I don't get Taco Bell, period. I don't know. Yeah, I don't get it a lot, dude. We had it at GameStop, but that's about it. I actually like the taste of Taco Bell. So, like, I don't know why I just don't eat it. I just... Really? Yeah. I, I had a... All right, I'm going to be real, yo. Something tells, me, something tells me it's not real meat. Have you had it? Well, it's not. It's Taco Bell. Yeah. It's probably like dead babies, but you know. Okay. <laughs> you know. Wow. Anyways. Yeah. So, anyways, I lost my train of thought. Now that I said You're that. You're gonna fuck. ask me something. Oh yeah, uh, the chalupas. I was talking about the chalupas. I love the chalupas. Really? I looked at that and I was like, I'm not eating this. Because it looks that dude, that it looks like, really nasty. I'm not gonna deny it. Well, yeah, it tastes good. It, it looks disgusting. Have you had a Baja Blast? No, that I haven't. I haven't had one either, and everyone says it's hype. It's literally just Mountain Dew with blue Gatorade. I don't drink. The only thing I drink is water. Yeah, I feel that, bro. Yeah. Water, maybe orange juice. <laughs> if I'm feeling it. Orange juice is fire, man. Coffee. I don't I know. My 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 choices of beverage are very limited. They're very limited. Yeah. Oh, yeah, because you're picking what you put in your body, bro. I'm very picky. I'm the same way. I like to stay healthy. That's the best way to do it. I do right? a terrible job. Do, do you work out? Me? Yeah. Inconsistently, but yeah. Inconsistently? Yeah. I'm probably the same way, dude. I do boxing. I mean, I take the most work that I do is like... You box? Yeah. There's, no way. Where? There's a gym right like next door to where I work at. So uh, every day after work. Every other day anyway. So like twice, maybe three times a week. That's why I say inconsistently. Okay. I... Go over there like five thirty and do like an hour long course. That's cool, man. Really kills you. I bet it does, dude. Cause Sam boxes too. Yeah. How's he doing? It's been a while. Sam. Yeah, I saw I saw his picture of him drowning in the pool. <laughs> Sam Sam's pretty awesome, bro. He's doing good. How's his music going? It's going good, man. I uh, I listened to Quaint. I liked it. He's gotta get out there more. I want to see more of his work. How's your music going? Miami, I don't make music. Didn't you make beats? I used to make beats, and then I discovered that I'm fucking suck at this, oh. so I, I don't do that. What's your passion right now? Just podcasting? this, this, this YouTube. That's my thing now. I really uh, you do click, clicked it. I'm getting a camcorder soon. It's a it's a Sony HDX 450. Okay. or 405 it's like 1080p it's nothing crazy it's just something i need so i can record my podcast and it's just more content for me on my channel i have this really small but effective setup so what i would do what i did is i had my phone and i bought like a 50 dollars vlog mic and got an adapter so i could connect it and then i just put the phone on this like iphone tripod and carried it like this it's like a really simple thing but that's how i did a lot of the stuff i did in high school that's cool. Like, I think I've seen that. I think I've seen you doing that. Because, I mean, I didn't get a real camera until after I graduated. Before that, everything I shot was on iPhone. Yeah, I shoot all my videos on my iPhone. But the, th the thing is, is like I need something that's going to record an hour. And, and like an hour-long video on my phone is just... I don't think the memory is going to be able to withhold it. So I, so I need an external camcorder. Did you already get the camcorder? I'm buying it tomorrow. Okay. It's probably going to come next week. So, yeah, dude, just hop on the pod when I get the camera again, dude. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> you know, I was it, gonna say I thought you did video with this too. No, that, that's coming up soon. It's audio right now. All my interviews have been audio right now. But uh, once I get a camera, I'm probably gonna set it up like that. When you have a good, you have a good setup for this, it kind of gives me cold ones vibes. Yeah, I'm really excited for it, man. I got like a lighting kit coming in too, some but, shit uh, like that. No, that's good. Another good camera I would recommend is probably the one I own, the A6400. Mm -hmm. If you have if you have eight hundred dollars to spare. I mean, yeah, I, well, I don't have eight hundred dollars spare at the moment, but you know, it's uh, yeah, I'm enjoying it because you know who I want to interview, bro. Because if I get the camcorder, I can <laughs> I'm gonna interview fucking King, the King of Naples, the King of Naples. I'm gonna find them and I'm gonna be like, yo, I've been meaning to do that actually. Do you want to yo? When I do it, I'll hit you up and you could come with me. I'm being so dead ass. I'm gonna Let's find. I'm gonna yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna find them. I'm gonna find them. Because I see him walking, but I always see him walking when it's like on the way to work and I'm like pressed for time. Yeah, to like yeah, yeah, dude. One, yeah, one weekend we're going to do it, dude. One weekend. One weekend. He's, 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 he's always around. I mean, King, like, we're coming for you, bro. We're coming for you on the pod. Not, not like, not like dangerous. Like we're just going to interview you. 
the rapidly approaching. Yeah, rapidly approaching, like the centipede, <laughs> <laughs> like, like like the centipede. All right, so if we've reached the end of the podcast, do uh, you want to plug yourself? Go ahead, plug yourself, man. Shout out Roberto, bro, visionary director. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, no, I'm, I'm too humble for that guy. I mean, go follow me on my Instagram. It's going to be... <laughs> uh, no, if you want to follow me on my Instagram, Torres. that's T-O-R-R-E-S. That's where I post mo- most of my stuff. That's going to be photos, videos, stories. I'm a pretty nonsensical guy. I post whatever. I don't care. Feel free to follow me there. That's actually the only social media I use. So. Is Instagram? Yeah. Hey, man, ladies got to hit up uh, Roberto. He's a honk, man. Let's go. Make sure you guys leave a review for... uh, Fuck, hang on. What was I going to say? Yeah, make sure you guys leave a review for Salami Talk on Spotify, on Apple. It really means a lot. I'm still trying to figure out how to read them. I cannot figure this out. It's like the fourth episode I said this. Make sure you check out my channel, Salami Loop, and watch out my Are They Mids and my Project Mids. Like, share, subscribe. I love you all. Yo, if you could say one thing to the people, what would it be? (laughs) Stay in drugs, don't do school.